nice work, Stella. Now, Alan, the power really is vested in me, so uh, yes. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I invite everyone to please stand for the arrival of the bride. Okay, I'm gonna get you right into the middle of the aisle here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Go ahead and turn around. <laughs> <laughs> woman to be married. I do. And we do. Thank you. Good afternoon again, everyone. Please have a seat. Welcome, family and friends. We gather here today to celebrate the wedding of Devin and Alan. You have come here to share in this formal commitment they make to one another, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow Alan and Devin to start their married life together surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. Before we continue on, I'd ask that we take just a moment to recognize those who could not be here today. Those who have passed away and those far away, we know that you are here in spirit. You okay? So again, welcome to all of you. Devin and Alan, thank each and every one of you for your presence here today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shake. Shake it off? Sure. Shake okay. It off. <laughs> we begin with Sonnet 116, Let Me Not to the Marriage of True Minds, from one of Devin's favorite writers, William Shakespeare. And I apologize in advance <laughs> if I get it wrong. <laughs> Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark whose worth's unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, the though rosy lips and cheeks within his binding bending sickles compass come love alters not with his brief hours and weeks but bears it even to the edge of doom if this be error and upon me proved i never writ nor no man ever loved 
This passage was chosen because it holds a valuable message. It reminds us that love is everlasting and strong and holds us together even through our darkest days. Devin, I'm going to take you to take a step towards your groom. Okay. You. Perfect. <laughs> Love is the reason we are here. In marriage, we not only say, I love you today, but also I promise to love you for all of our tomorrows. There was another famous author who once said, we are all a little weird and life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and fall in mutual weirdness and call it love. <laughs> And that, my friends, was not William Shakespeare. <laughs> it was Dr. Seuss. <laughs> so now I ask you both, in the presence of these witnesses, that if either of you know of any legal impediment to this marriage, you do now reveal the same. So, Alan, I'm going to start with you. Please repeat after me. I solemnly declare. I solemnly declare. That I do not know. That I do not know. Of any lawful impediment. Of any law in lawful impediment. Sure. Lawful. That's lawful. Close <laughs> so close. <laughs> Why I, Alan James Bush. Why I, Alan James Bush. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Devon Lynn Rule. To Devon Lynn Rule. And Devon, please repeat after me. I solemnly declare. I solemnly declare that I do not know that I do not know of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why I Devin Lynn Rule why I Devin Lynn Rule may not be joined in matrimony may not be joined in matrimony to Alan James Bush to Alan James Bush that was with gusto that was very good <laughs> <laughs> Alan and Devin I remind you both that marriage is a precious gift a lifelong commitment, and a challenge to love one another more completely each and every day. So Alan, with this understanding, do you take Devon to be your lawful wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward for as long as you both shall live? I do. And Devon, with this understanding, do you take Alan to be your lawful wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward for as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> and Alan, I'm going to ask you to please repeat after me. I call on those present to witness. I call on those present to witness. That I, Alan James Bush. That I, Alan James Bush. Take Devon Lynn Rule. Take Devon Lynn Rule. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To comfort you. To comfort you. To honor and protect you. To honor and protect you. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I'm going to get you to take a step backwards. Okay. Yeah, and forwards this way. There we go. This whole centering thing. It's <laughs> <laughs> I feel better already. <laughs> Devin, please repeat after me. I call on those present to witness. I call on those present to witness. That I, Devin Lynn Rule. That I, Devin Lynn Rule. Take Alan James Bush. Take Alan James Bush. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To comfort you. To comfort you. To honor and protect you. To honor and protect you. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Alan and Devin have also prepared some individual vows and promises for each other. Would you like to call me? Uh, I think I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. <laughs> I promise to remind you to stay balanced when life overwhelms you. To cheer you up when you are down. To encourage you that everything will always work out. To help you adapt when plans change. To always make you laugh and laugh with you. To cry with you during Disney movies. <laughs> <laughs> to help you with life's challenges especially when report cards are due. <laughs> <laughs> to challenge you to try new things, 
like zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> to remind you of just how much I love you. To remind you of just how much I love you. Truffle, may I have the rings, please? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's done. Alan, please place the ring on the third finger of Devin's left hand. No, no, this is not okay. And please repeat after me. Devin, I give you this ring. Devin, I give you this ring. As a daily reminder. Of a day as a daily reminder. Of my love for you. Of my love for you. And Devin, please place the ring on the third finger of Alan's left hand. <laughs> nope, one. that one. There we go. Third from this side, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and please repeat it's after tight. me. Yeah, it's, it's, Is that good? No, no. It's tight. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Please repeat after me. Alan, I give you this ring. Alan, I give you this ring. As a daily reminder. As a daily reminder. Of my love for you. Of my love for you. Please join hands. Alan and Devin. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years. These are the hands that will hold you whenever illness, fear, or grief may find you. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours. So, Devin and Alan, we have heard your promises to share your lives in marriage. We recognize and respect the vows that you have made here today. So in the honesty and sincerity of what you have said and done here today, and in accordance with the laws of the province of British Columbia, it is my absolute honor and delight to pronounce you as husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Congratulations to you both. I'd like to invite... <laughs> well, I haven't gotten to that part yet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't steal my thunder. <laughs> I would like to invite the bride and groom and our two witnesses over to the signing table. We still have to make it legal. After you. <laughs> Take your time. It's okay. Yeah. It's time. That's it. I'm going to use these flowers as a bit of a paperweight. If you need to move the paper book at all to sign more comfortably, by all means. Yes, she has left out. You're going to sign first as you've always signed your name right next, or right underneath your name. And one more time on the license. Right there next to that X there, please. Mm -hmm. feels most comfortable. I'll give you your flowers. Thank you. I'm just going to stand right over here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Nice train. Oh, now we're going to see in the back. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Looking yeah, pretty fine. Oh. 
Oh, you know, I've kind of reached an equilibrium. <laughs> I think my shirt is soaked through though, so yeah. Good job. <laughs> Enough sniffing. Oh, you missed that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he came down and sniffed everyone on your side of the aisle there. Oh, yeah. So I promised you all a photo op, so now is your opportunity. Go ahead and pull out your cameras. You have a few moments to take a couple of photos. How awkward does the bridal party feel? <laughs> As the bridal party heads up the aisle, I do respectfully ask that you put your cameras away at that point so the photographers can get their shots. And I'm sure there'll be lots of opportunities later to take more photos. Meanwhile, there will be a group photo with all of the guests immediately following the ceremony. So if everyone can go to the pathway right behind, so well, right in front of me, behind you, in the shade, you're welcome. Um, and then the photographers will take the photo with the house in the background. So if everyone can head that way. Um, there are some yard games available for you to play, as well as some juice on the table to my left. The yard games are over on the right. Um, I do respectfully ask that you maybe hold your congratulations to the couple until the reception tonight. They have just a little bit of time to get some photos done, so they'd like to get that done first. Um, meanwhile, you can certainly enjoy the neighborhood. I know there's a Starbucks nearby that's waiting for you, I'm sure, so you can get some nice cold drinks there if you uh, have some time to kill. There's some wineries nearby as well. Meanwhile, the doors will be open here at Gushigan at 5.15, and we ask that you be seated for the reception by 5.30. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. I think I got it all. <laughs> Hi, that, sounds, I that no. sounds good. <laughs> pleasure to introduce to all of you for the very first time as husband and wife, Alan and Devin Bush. Thanks, for the music. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna, uh, over here maybe a little. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where, where the photographer wants us. I'll just go over here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> uh, I'm, not sh I'm not exactly sure where they want us, but the photographer will let us know. Yeah, I'm assuming they want, they want everyone. They right said in the, the shade by the house, so. I found a shady spot. <laughs> How about say with Daddy? Good. Hey, Stella, high five. You're the best flower girl I've ever seen. Good job, Stella. Wow. It's because she practiced. Yeah. <laughs> 